Hey guys, what's going on? This is the conservative speaking. Happy conservative point of view of Black History Month. Uh, this is this is the spotlight where we highlight prominent black figures that were considered to be um, people that that the blacks tend tend to celebrate as as the ones that made a a significant change within the black community um and the next person on the list that we that we need to put a spotlight on to expose is none other than jesse jackson another um another prominent civil rights activist now um just to give you a a, a little a little uh drop back or, or just just to give you a, a little story on uh, Jesse Jackson, uh, Jesse Jackson was born in 1941 in Greenville, South Carolina. At the age of 15, he took his his stepfather's surname of Jackson, and um, and he he was able to do well in school. Uh, he went to an all black college. Uh, he, and he graduated in 66 with a bachelor's in sociology. Um, at the same time, he moved to Chicago and became an ordained minister in 1968. Now, in 1965, he was the, he was the man that, uh, that marched alongside Martin Luther King during Selma and, uh, and, and during, during the riots, and he also worked under King's Southern leader, Southern Christian leader conference, <clears throat> uh, and Jesse Jackson was also there in 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee, when Martin Luther King was assassinated. Now Jesse Jackson stated that he was there, and he held he held the dying Martin Luther King in his arms, and had blood on on his arms, although there were several witnesses that refuted his story and stated that when Martin Luther King was assassinated that Jesse Jackson was nowhere to be found. Nevertheless, Jesse Jackson stayed with the organization and when the organization realized that he was using the organization for his own personal gain, he was then suspended in 1967 and then that's when and then that's when um he was suspended from 67 up until 71. And then that's when Jesse Jackson decided to resign in 71 to form his own organization called PUSH, People Uniting uh, to Save Humanity. And Jesse Jackson used this as, as an organization, or at least he tried to convince the, the, the public that he tried to use the organization for good, when really the organization was designed to get his to get his black cronies to get special benefits by shaking down uh, prominent organizations to to either get his his members uh, of of his of his push coalition organization in or to have those same members or to have those same same corporations buy into the businesses uh, of of the very members that were involved in the push coalition. Basically, what Jesse Jackson was doing is no different than than what than what the organized crime mob mobsters do. Jesse Jackson was no different from a crime mobster. Uh, these are a bunch of losers that have that never really established anything in their lives. And had but had the ability to intimidate and bully people that were that were well off in these well establishments and were able to bully their way into their payroll. That's how Jesse Jackson was able to make millions of dollars because he was able to shake down corporations. But unlike the mobsters, which which knew how to shake down other people, where they knew how to shake down either mobsters. Or, <clears throat> or, or other well establishments uh, through coercion of violence. Jesse Jackson chose to 
shake down these people through the threat of of racism. Basically, he will go to these major corporations and say, listen, um, this is my organization. We have a lot of pool. We like what you're doing, and, and we want into your organization. Um, you either have to accept our members or accept their businesses, and if you don't, I will claim that your company is racist. I will claim that 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 your that your corporation refuses to hire black people and we will boycott your business and trust me you will be out of business because I have a lot of pool and and I can pull some strings and I can shut down your business. And these corporations that were mainly ran by white people would then well, I mean, will then tremble in fear and then give in to Jesse Jackson's demands. And that's how Jesse Jackson's organization became powerful. This is probably one of the reasons why Jesse Jackson actually supports communists, because that's what communists do. These are a bunch of low-life, miscreant losers who never established anything in their lives other than to create uh, the idea of of being intimidating and bullying their way all the way up to the top by by getting into by being able to bully known establishments and being able to have these known establishments pander to their very needs and that's what Jesse Jackson did Jesse Jackson is a known mobster he, I mean, really, he's no different from a from a mobster because that's what mobsters did. He's a loser, but that's what his coalition did. In 1983, uh, his his organization had boycotted um, Anheuser Busch, which is a a well known um, beer um, beer distributor into allowing his, well, and he basically did that because he was claiming that Anheuser-Busch wasn't hiring enough black people. Again, Jesse Jackson using, using his power of bullying and intimidation to state that Anheuser-Busch had something against hiring blacks. When we all know the truth of the matter is Either the blacks were not interested in wanting to work with Anheuser-Busch or they just weren't good enough to work for Anheuser-Busch. But nevertheless, Jesse Jackson using his bullying tactic in order to get people that were within his organization to be a part of that organization, and that's what happened. Um, he was able to get one of his sons, Yousef Jackson and Ron Burkle, into the organization in 1996. I'm sorry, in, in 1996. And then in 1998, Anheuser-Busch was able to buy into their business, were able to buy, um, well, not necessarily buy, but, but they, they allowed Ron Burkle and Yousef Jackson to uh to to be able to take charge of the uh to head the River North Sales a Chicago beer distribution company uh that was linked to Anheuser-Busch leading to controversy because the Push Coalition coerced Anheuser-Busch to pick his sons to allow them to be the head of the beer distribution company even though they denied that the boycott in 83 had nothing to do with with the impact of them buying the distribution company in 1998. Uh, we all know for a simple fact that if it wasn't for Jesse Jackson um, muscling his, his way and having Anheuser-Busch uh, hire his son and his friend, they don't get that position. Jesse Jackson was a bully. He was a bully, but he used his bullying tactics um, to a T. 
he used his his bullying tactics um superbly in order to get these these executives to cave into his demands and put in people who weren't necessarily qualified for the position in the first place to be a part of that organization. Um, Jesse Jackson is also known to have his associates intimidate and assault black conservatives such as Jesse Lee Peterson, a black conservative uh, that was that wanted to inquire to do business with the Toyota CEO at the time, and he requested that 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 Jesse <coughs> organ <coughs> that Jesse's organization would do business with the Toyota CEO and not necessarily involve um, Jesse Jackson's Rainbow Push Coalition, in which members, in which that's when Jesse Jackson and his son, um, Jonathan Jackson, assaulted Jesse Lee Peterson, in which Peterson then later sued, but unfortunately nothing came came of that. But Jesse, but uh, Jesse Jackson is a man that claims to be good, but is a man that truly, truly, truly is a worker of Satan. This was a man that claimed to be a good man, and yet he would assault other people who didn't necessarily, who he ne didn't necessarily feel that that was on his wavelength and he intimidated and bullied people in order to get what he wanted when he wanted it at the time that he wanted it um jesse jackson also um hated jews he referred to jews as Jaime, and he referred to new york city that were filled with jews Jaime town uh, this was a man that also was linked with Louis Farrakhan and had the support of Louis Farrakhan. And Louis Farrakhan basically told the Jews that, and I quote, if any man, if anyone brings harm to him, that, that, I'm sorry, if anyone bring the harm to him, that it will be the last harm that you ever bring to him. Amazing man of God that would associate himself with a man that wanted to create violence. But this is what you get from the blacks. Um, in 1989, Jesse Jackson uh, promoted the term African American, and he, he came up with the name and told the blacks that they needed to refer to themselves as African American, even though blacks have no connections to Africa at all. He wanted to call the blacks African Americans, even though the blacks were not born in Africa, none of their family were from Africa, but Jesse Jackson did that to create division with blacks and white Americans. He wanted the blacks to believe that that they were um, <clears throat> that that they were removed from their original hometown by by the whites, and that he wanted the blacks to never ever forget where they came from. All Jesse Jackson was doing was creating division, and he was doing it again, exploiting black people's emotions in the exchange of money because if Jesse Jackson can have the blacks believe that that they are victims of racism then he can be able to get them on his side and then Jesse Jackson could be could continue his reign of shaking down corporations and forcing corporations to take in blacks that that never should have been in, in these very positions. And he said he can do it because he was able to 
convince a bunch of blacks to be emotional and claim that, that they were victims of racism and blame white people for it and get these, these brainwashed blacks to get on his side. And then he would use that as leverage to then tell these white executives, listen, get my people um, in, your, in your organization or I'm going to tell or I'm going to, to get on TV, tell them that you're racist, tell them that we're boycotting your company because you're racist, and you will be out of business. And Jesse Jackson was able to successfully use that tactic into muscling his way and his people to then take on organizations, I mean, to then take on positions within these well-establishments that they had no business being a part of in the first place. But this is Jesse Jackson. This is the real Jesse Jackson. It is amazing. It is amazing. Now, he created Rainbow Push to include the blacks, Hispanics, Arabs, Asians, Indians, family farmers, the poor and working class, and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, homosexuals. Yes, Jesse Jackson included homosexuals in his organization. Now, keep in mind, this is a reverend. This is a man of God that is supporting homosexuals and allowing homosexuals to be a part of his organization. Jesse Jackson had a four-year affair with Karen Stanford and wind up having a child outside of his marriage uh, whose first name went by Ashley. And at the time, um, Jesse Jackson had aspirations to run for president in 2000, but, but because, but because a, a tabloid happened to find out a, about the affair, and threatened to actually uh, go public with the affair, that's when Jesse Jackson decided to not go for, uh, um, for a, or to not seek a presidential election bid and decided to take care of his child that he had outside of his marriage. Talk about being a slut maker. This man was supposed this man is supposed to be a man of God and he winds up having a child outside of his marriage. Amazing. But this was your black civil rights leader. That's your civil rights leader. He was a big slut maker. Amazing. And the and the woman that he wind up having uh, the affair with was pursuing her doctorates. I think she was pursuing her, her, her doctrine, meaning that she was on her way to becoming a PhD. And she had to uh, complete paperwork in order to become a PhD. It's always the educated ones. It's, it's the educated ones that wind up falling for married men. Amazing. Amazing. You can't, uh, again... Um, it, and it's always the marry, it's always the, the educated ones that wind up making dumb, immoral decisions. What a slut. But anyhow, Jesse Jackson wind up having a child outside of his marriage. This is supposed to be a man of God. And yet, this man, this man winds up exhibiting the things that you do not expect from a reverend. Amazing. But then again, uh, Al Sharpton also calls himself a reverend. And those two are, 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 are really, are pretty much uh, swimming in the same boat. But nevertheless... Um, Jesse Jackson also, um, 
uh, has some harsh words with Barack Obama. And uh, Barack Obama was was a person that wanted to that had aspirations uh, to run for office as as he was the senator. And um, Jesse Jackson made a comment about wanting to uh, chop his his genitals off. Again, I mean, this is this is a, a reverend that's supposed to be a man of God. Amazing. He's the one that said that, and then as soon as Barack Obama wins uh, the presidential election, he's the first one with tears, acting as if he was proud of of witnessing the first black American to be elected president, as if that means anything. Uh, and then uh, Jesse Jackson, you don't really hear too much of him now it, nowadays. Uh, in the news, um, Jesse Jackson was hospitalized despite the fact that he wind up getting, uh, despite the fact that he was vaccinated for the China virus. And, um, but he still, him, him and his wife wind up, him and his wife Jackie wind up being hospitalized for the, the China virus despite both of them getting, despite both of them actually getting the China virus vaccine. It's not really much to say about Jesse Jackson. I mean, he's the quintessential race pimp. He is a person that um, that once again used race and racism and systemic racism and all these other buzzwords that mean absolutely nothing, and he used it as a bullying tactic to get what he wanted. Jesse Jackson did nothing for black people. Jesse Jackson will never do anything for black people. You want to know why? Because when it comes to issues of poverty, he doesn't speak of anything that will benefit the black community. Is he telling black people to, to get off of welfare? Absolutely not. He would encourage it. Is he telling black people that they need to come to God and, instead of, instead of Instead of killing each other over anger, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, when was the last time you heard Jesse Jackson speak out against black-on-black -black homicide? You won't, because he doesn't care. And it doesn't fit the narrative. But if a white person were to, were to pick up a gun and kill a, kill a black, then that's when he will come out and say something, because it fits the, the very narrative that he can use to then exploit the blacks for monetary gains. Jesse Jackson is the typical race pimp who would rather exploit the blacks' um, emotions all for a buck. And if it makes dollars, it makes sense. And what makes sense for Jesse Jackson is to exploit black people's feelings in the, in the exchange for cash. Because Keep in mind, Jesse Jackson, while he claims that he's for that he's for the blacks, couldn't see himself living nowhere near where those blacks that are struggling are. Because Jesse Jackson would rather use them than to live with them. Amazing. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section after you subscribe to my channel. Click the like button if you if you like the video. Share this video, all right? And subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will be able to provide you content on a double. Also, also, um, I would say leave 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 a notification. I mean, also turn your notifications on. However, there's been an issue with people turning their notifications on. So just subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you stay subscribed. So that you'll be able to know when, uh, when, when I drop content. So that you'll be able to be the first one to have access to content that I drop. And with that being said, this is the conservative. Have a blessed day, guys. Amazing.